welcome back to my vlog channel. As you can tell, I'm in my little uh, corner office. Just relaxing here, taking care of a few computer stuff, caught up on some vlog videos I haven't watched, you know, in a few days. And I'm wearing one of my favorite little dresses. Usually, I put on an outfit whenever I'm vlogging, but this one, I can vlog in because it's really kind of a sporty dress. But I could wear it in two ways, either around the house or when I'm out in the yard, or I could wear it to bed as a nightgown, which is really, really nice. Plus, my women parts don't have to hang, so it's really, really nice. I don't even remember where I found this. I think I found it at TG Maxx, which is one of those pieces that I rewash constantly because I absolutely love wearing it. Highly, highly recommend if you're ever at home and you want to wear something casual just in case, you know, your packages come in or somebody stops by for a visit, you don't feel like getting dolled up or dressed up. This is something that's really, really cute. It is black on the top and then at the bottom, if you can see a little bit right here, it is gray the rest of the way. I thought I'd do a sit down and talk video and talk about what's been on my mind lately and why I haven't been vlogging and what I sort of have planned and things like that. So I was planning a few videos that I wanted to vlog. I also thought about doing like a first ever like YouTube live stream kind of thing. So I can go on Twitter and text all of you guys there like tweet. You know, hey, I'm going live. What time would you guys want me to go on live? Something like that. But then when I got really, really sick, I just can vlog any videos. There was no way I can, you know do a lot of things. I was just pretty much bedridden. Like, that's how bad sick I was. Like, I would just be tired every few hours. So, there are a couple personal things that I'm not going to be sharing uh, because it isn't something that, you know, I have to share on YouTube. As a YouTube vlogger, there are things that we choose to share, and then there are things that we choose not to share. And Personally, I just decided this is the one thing that I'm not going to share, and that's okay. I hope you guys respect that. You know, some of you guys do know because I've already personally messaged you or I chat with you, and you guys have really, really been helpful in that sort of department because it's nice to talk about it with someone who's gone through it before and things like that. But um, I was finally referred to a gastroenterologist to figure out why I'm having a lot of digestive issues, especially, you know, at this point in my life. I've had it my whole life since I was a kid, and we never really suck. We've never really thought to see a gastroenterologist. Even when I had private insurance, we never really thought about it. It wasn't just something that I crossed my mind. And it, it got to the point where, like, every two weeks I'm having, like, diarrhea, you know, on a, like, Saturday or Sunday, and interferes with, you know, doing things or going shopping, and then it's fine, and then it restarts again in, like, two to three weeks, so finally when I talked to one of my other specialists, she said, I'm definitely going to refer you to one, since you've already gone through the C. diff infection, and I've already been on so many different antibiotics throughout the years for my ear infection, throat infection, chest infection, like, you know, sometimes you get in the throat, sometimes you get in the lung infection, especially because when you have allergy and asthma and you wear hearing aids. I don't know if any of you guys wear hearing aids, but, or those of you who have little kids and you have constant ear infections, this is something that I battled my whole life. Unfortunately, the hearing aids are going to stay there because, I don't know if I mentioned this in any of my other videos, but... When I was about, I think, 11, they tried to do surgery. But because there's a nerve that sits right where they can fix it, so imagine your ear, and here's the nerve. So they can't really fix anything. There's not much that they can do at all. So because of it, they assume that the other side is the same way. When they further examined the MRI and all the scans that they did, they ended up getting a better look at it, and that's pretty much what's been going on. The other thing, I'm not sure if it's, I'm on different um, vitamins and stuff, which is for something else I'm not really going to get into that on, 
but I'm thinking the one that I was recently put on probably uh, was kind of an indicator because I don't know if you'll notice I'm wearing a little bit of makeup on my lips but my lips are a little like burned around here and I've had this before with an allergic reaction to a medicine but when I went to the doctor on Friday she said it's why you're on this particular vitamin because this is one of the symptoms that shows up with what I have and so this is why you're on what you're on so I thought okay this is the this is the thing about YouTube I do YouTubing for fun I'm not one of those vloggers that is going to expect you know to get 100 200,000 1.1 million you know youtubers that make money off of it this isn't why I actually decided to do youtubing I decided to do youtubing last year because it was something to give me an outlook to do when I'm not in the mood to do anything else so like sometimes you know I don't have time to go out with a friend or anything like that maybe I'm busy doing something in my life and I'm trying out a new place I really love giving people like an honest opinion, honest reviews, and things like this. So this is just something that just came to me, you know. People do it for fun every day. Why not vlog and have fun with it? So I'm hoping to get to either doing a live me. Okay, there's an app called Live Me, which is live streaming. I'm hoping to go live either on YouTube one of these days soon or on Twitter. I'm just not sure when because because of all the things that have been going on health wise with me and I know it's better to take care of yourself first and to feel better and get better than to start doing something and then people are watching you live and then you look like a hot mess. I mean, I obviously look like a hot mess today, and, you know, I see a lot of parents who vlog on YouTube, because I have several YouTube vlogger friends who I'm subscribed to, and they're moms, and they're like, sometimes, well, they'll, and they'll say, like, I feel like a hot mess. And I'm not a mom yet, but the thing is, is that I've been a mess because I think for the longest time, love. I mean, I've been really good about going to the doctor, and I've always been monitored and things like that. But I think since I got older in years, and I'm in my 30s, and when I look at both of my parents who are healthy, but say, you know, they didn't know about certain things until they were older, I just don't want to be their age, you know. I don't want to be 50 or 60 and finding out that this is what I have to deal with, you know. It's been a mystery to you know, my whole family why I can't digest easily uh, foods. So, for example, I can go to a restaurant and order my favorite foods, which will be fine. I can eat it one day and not a problem. And then a couple days or maybe two weeks later, I'll go there again, same place, and then I'll eat something and it just won't agree with me. You know, sorry I sound a little bit like easily. I'm all stuffed up, I'm congested. And the other thing is, medicines don't really work in me because my body's already been through so much trauma with antibiotics, medicines, and everything that it's sometimes to the point where it just decides do I absorb it? See, vitamins haven't been a problem. I can absorb like iron stuff, vitamins, things like this. But I'm talking about like, if I have to take a medication for something, other than my asthma, it doesn't real. my body just doesn't take to it. I don't know if any of you guys have this problem, but let me know in the comments below if you guys have ever had issues. Sorry about that, I had to step out because the phone rang, my husband called. He's on about doing a lot of errands today and then he's stopping by his parents' house because the weekend we went to Ventura, I forgot a few things at their house, just like two items, so gonna go and pick it up and then while he's out I'm doing a couple things at home since I'm feeling a little better I have water right here with my lemon and things like that but you know so they're working so my doctors and everybody's just working as a team 
to figure it out why I can't tolerate medicines, what's the next step, what we're going to do with a lot of my digestive issues and all that stuff as far as food wise and things like that. But the dietitian was really helpful in teaching me a lot about food labels, what to look for, what to do when I eat out and stuff like that. And I think what it comes down to is when you eat out, sometimes we don't know how to properly eat that cuisine food. For example, all the times I've been out and I'll eat like ramen soup and I'll eat the broth and then my dietitian was like, you're not supposed to eat the broth, you're supposed to just have the noodles. That's what ramen is about, you eat the ramen. And I was like, have I been eating Japanese food the wrong way? And then the other tip she gave about avoiding like so much sodium, which is a lot of salt. It's not an MSG that they add in these like Japanese, Chinese, Koreans, or Thai food. A lot of it's just like a lot of seasoning and salt. So one thing she said, you can always eat the contents in it and eat half of the broth because you don't want to eat a big bowl. Because that's usually what they serve it in. But so some really, really good tips I was really happy about seeing this dietitian and she was really insightful and knowledgeable and she did talk about a lot of different, you know, foods. So I'm really happy with all of my specialists. So just kind of a couple of important uh, YouTube announcements for my channel. So I'm probably not going to be vlogging for another quite a while until I get completely better and we figure everything out. And then also, I will be tweeting on Twitter. So, I know I promised that I wanted to do a live on YouTube or live on Twitter. I probably won't get to that until next week. Maybe when I'm starting to feel a whole lot better. So, but that's definitely going to be happening sometime soon. I just don't know when. But I'm going to be taking a little hiatus from YouTube vlogging. You'll see me probably comment maybe on someone else's page or, you know, blog a little bit, like tweet on Twitter, which I'm still going to keep that up. But I think I just really need to take the time and really to just get better and feel better and for everything that I've been going through to just clear up. So I want to leave you guys with a positive note. If you think something's going on wrong in your life, if you're not feeling well, find somebody to talk to and really go through a lot of things. Thankfully, my husband, my mom, and my mother-in-law, especially my mom who's a nurse and a mom, have really guided me in the right direction to get better, to seek help, and be able to not be afraid to ask to see a specialist. You know, sometimes you might not need to see a specialist or a doctor. But in some cases, when something just flares up and it's there, persistent, then you might need to see somebody. So just one step at a time and just to really go through it, you know. And I have to tell you, the fact that I've omitted certain things out of my diet that you can't really eat right now at the moment anyways, you know, and the things I told you I wasn't going to be sharing with for private reasons, but... You know, I felt so much better. I felt like there's so many other ways you can replace it, you know. Like, I went to a wedding, and I was like, I'm already allergic to a lot of things you can't drink, you know, like wine and alcohol. But I figured if I do Zelser and, like, orange juice, I definitely felt like I was having an alcohol drink. But there was no alcohol in it. I was still feeling good. It's nice. I have had also issues with juices. They don't really sit well in me anyways. So that was another thing that we've been trying to like figure out. You know, because I love water and lemon, but sometimes the other water and lemon tea, you want to have a little bit of juice, like maybe orange juice, you want to water it down. And to me, the taste has just not been that great. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching my vlog. Sorry it's just been a sit down vlog and not my usual you know, day to day, like what I do in my life, vlogging or trying out a new place to eat or just taking you along for the day with me. But I really felt like I had to sit down and talk to all of you because, 
you know, I haven't really had a chance to just sit down and talk and explain a lot of things that have been going on. I mean, I still want to vlog on YouTube. I'm still going to work. I'm still going to continue to live my life positively and happy. And I hope you guys live your life the way you want to and be happy. I just really want to be able to feel great where I'm not having, you know, not feeling well every two weeks, you know. So I'm going to end my vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys real soon. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already done so, click on that notification bell. I'll tell you when my next vlog video will be up. Go check me out on Twitter. That's the only other social media that I use. I also have an email uh, that I use with this account. So if you guys want to email me and maybe collaborate with me, but you have to be uh, not far from where I'm at. So this way we can just collaborate together. And I hope to be logging real soon again when I feel better. Thank you guys so much for being a part of my YouTube life and supporting me. And those of you that I email and talk back and forth, thank you guys so, so much. Give me guys a shout out and you know who you are. Jackie, the Dale Tribe, the Fry Life, thank you guys so much. Kim Now, Tyler, and Challenge Pan, you guys really uplift my spirits and inspire me every day to continue vlogging on my days off and not be afraid to be able to vlog. You know, you should not be afraid to do whatever you want to do in your life. So if you want to try something new, go ahead and try it. This is the one life we have to live, so we really got to enjoy the most of it. So, bye! <laughs>